I'm going to go over a couple essential tools that everybody needs to know when using Tinkercad. The group command, the cut command, and the align command. We've done the group and cut a little bit last week, but we're going to expand on it this week. So I'm going to start by putting a couple different shapes down here. I'm going to make them some different sizes. And let's change the color of them. Okay, so the first thing is if I want these to be grouped together, right now they go independently. And uh, let's say that I kind of want them, I'm putting them together, and I have some idea that I want to do something about like this. And I've been building it, I don't want it to move, and I don't want the pieces to come off because I spent time getting them exactly like that. So I'm going to left, I'm going to click on each one separately. And now I'm going to go up to the top, and this little, looks like an arrow, is the group command. And I'm going to press, press on it. When I do that, notice that the blocks change color. That means it's all one piece now, and they move as one. Uh, we're going to do a cut command. So I'm going to bring a cylinder down here. We did this a little bit before. Let's make it a big cut. I'm going to change it into a hole. Put that in there, something like that. Let's look at it from the side to make sure we're intersecting. Now, I've, this has already been grouped, but I'm going to group these, the group shape and the cylinder, and we're going to make, make a cut. Click that one. Everything's now combined. And now we just cut off that corner. The next thing I want to do now, Sometimes you want this ungrouped, so I'm going to click here. That ungroups that part. So this is separate. Now I can click on there and ungroup this part. So I'm all the way back to where I started. Uh, sometimes when you're building a shape, you want it to line up perfectly. And I can spend time to get these shapes right in line, but they're not quite perfect. So there's a command that will help us do that. So I'm going to click on these pieces. I'm going to go right up here to this tool here. It looks like two rectangles and a line. And it gives me some handles here. If I click and hold on these handles, it shows me how they're going to line together. This will move them all to the middle. This all to the left. This all to the right. What I really want is I want them lined up this way in a vertical or horizontal line. So that's what I want. So I'm cl click and hold. I've now lined these up perfectly and they're in a line. Uh, they're not grouped because they can move. So if I hit the undo command, one nice thing is you can use the align tool. Now let's group these together. So now that's one piece. And if I grab the middle, they all follow each other. This is really handy if you're building something larger. You can now make pieces, and this can now be a building block. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to talk about copy, paste, and duplicate.